This is a video tutorial for the Emsley bag pattern, and I am going to show you how to complete rounds 11 and 12. And after you complete rounds 11 and 12, you will just be repeating rounds 11 and 12 all the way up to the point um, where you make the straps. So I am at the end of round 10 here, and I just worked a single crochet in the last stitch of round 10. So I'm gonna remove my stitch marker, and I'm going to place a slip stitch in the first stitch of the round to join. And now we are ready to begin round 11. So in round 11, we begin with the chain one, and this does not count as a stitch. So at the end of the round, when you go to join, you will skip right over that chain one and make your slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So for round 11, we begin by, we skip the first stitch, and we make a single crochet in the next stitch. So the first stitch is just a stitch at the base of your chain one right here. So we're gonna skip over this stitch and make a single crochet in the next stitch. And we're gonna skip the next stitch and make three double crochet in the next stitch. So there's one. two, and three, so it should look like this so far. I'm gonna go ahead too and put a stitch marker in that first stitch I made just to make it easier to see when we get to the end of the round where, first, or where we join to. Okay, all right, so now you're just gonna repeat what I have in the brackets. You'll skip a stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, skip a stitch, three double crochet in the next stitch. And you will just repeat that all around until you get uh, back to the beginning. So for the last stitch of the round, you should have three double crochet in that last stitch. Okay, so skip stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, skip the next stitch, three double crochet in the next stitch. We're just gonna repeat that sequence all the way around. Okay. Shouldn't look like this so far. So skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch, three double crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch, three double crochet in the next stitch. So skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. Get the next stitch, three double crochet in the next stitch. So again, you'll just repeat that sequence all the way around. So I'm gonna keep going. So it should look like this so far. I forgot to mention too, at the end of this round, you should have 72 stitches and your stitch count will stay the same all the way up until we make the straps. So for each round, you should have 72 stitches at this point.
can see like the sides of my bag are starting to curl up. That is because we aren't increasing anymore and we want that to happen. This is actually the outside of the bag, so they'll curl the other way too if you flip it this way. <laughs> That's the way it's gonna be. I'm gonna keep going here. Getting close to the end here. Okay, so we'll skip a stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, skip stitch, three double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and then we will join to the top of our first single crochet with a slip stitch. Okay, and that is round 11. It looks like this. 